Hi, I'm Joe Miller. I'm the anatomy teacher for Yoga Renew. I think I've always been fascinated by uh, understanding how the body works. And um, I actually initially learned about anatomy through artistic anatomy. So learning to draw the bones, the muscles, um, we draw skeletons, we draw a model with a skeleton. Um, so I really got um, a sense from that of, kind of understanding sort of where different parts of the body are, where parts of the musculoskeletal system are uh, in relationship to the body. And uh, believe it or not, I was uh, a skinny kid and uh, I wanted to, uh, to build up a little bit of muscle. So I started going to the gym. As you can see, I, I didn't really, wasn't that successful in building up a lot of muscle, but when I went to the gym, I discovered yoga classes and, and I fell in love with the yoga practice. I loved the, um, the way that it made my body feel. Um, I felt like it was really a practice that allowed me to kind of arrive home in my body to understand better how my body worked um, and, um, and how I might feel better in my own body. So I was already fascinated by um, by both yoga practice and anatomy practice. As my yoga practice developed, um, I got eventually interested in teaching it. Um, I started kind of teaching all of my friends and I felt like, well, maybe a good idea to start teaching some people that actually wanted me to teach them. Um, so, um, so I eventually did a yoga teacher training and, uh, and I started teaching yoga teacher training fairly soon after that. My training in anatomy for yoga began with studying with several prominent teachers of anatomy for yoga. And the more that I studied, the more I felt like I needed more of a, a solid academic background. So I decided to go back to school. I went to graduate school for a master's degree in applied physiology from Columbia University in New York, where I studied anatomy, physiology, um, particularly as it pertains to movement and exercise science. And then I've taught anatomy over the years, uh, really around the United States and uh, around the world. Um, I've taught in uh, Japan, in Bali, Costa Rica, Germany, Greece, sort of all around the world. And the more students that uh, I've taught, um, the more I've really learned about how to teach anatomy, the more I really uh, learned how to kind of figure out how to talk about these kind of complex subjects uh, in ways that uh, make them simple and easy to understand um, so that students who have no background in anatomy will be able to really follow um, and have a clear understanding. The more you understand anatomy, the more you're going to be able to understand what's going on in your students' bodies when you're teaching them. And the more understanding you have, the more you're going to be able to really direct your teaching very specifically to each student because we're all different. I mean, of course, we all follow more or less the same body plan because we're human beings, but there's a lot of individual variation between people. And so if you have an understanding of, for instance, how the hip joint works and understand that there are kind of differently shaped bones in different students, the shape of the thigh bone, the shape of the pelvis can be different in different students. And the more understanding you have of that, the more you're gonna be able to for instance, look at a particular student and understand why they may be struggling with a particular pose. Um, and rather than trying to give them kind of a, a one-size-fits-all solution, right, trying to sort of force all of the students into one particular uh, idea that you might have about how the pose should be, you're going to be able to really look at each individual student, understand what's going on in their bodies, and then give them the help that they need so that they're going to be able to really more, more fully experience and embody whatever the, the asana is or the experience that you're trying to give them is. If you like this content, check out my Yoga Anatomy course for Yoga Renew, where you'll get the tools you need to improve your practice and improve your teaching. This course is a really comprehensive look at human anatomy and physiology as it relates to yoga. You'll be um, looking at pictures of the skeleton. You'll be feeling things in your own body. You'll have an opportunity to practice some of the concepts we're talking about. You can really bring these concepts to life in your practice and as well help your students to understand how their bodies work better. We're gonna go over the major systems of the body, including the joints, muscular and skeletal systems, the respiratory and nervous systems, 
to help you to improve your ability to cue your classes, um, to sequence, to help your students improve their strength and their range of motion, and to help to keep their joints healthy. So this class will give you the tools that you need to tailor your classes to your students' specific needs, which will help to make you a more knowledgeable and valuable teacher.